Hey, Ryan. Hey, good to be here. Awesome. OK, so congratulations. Welcome to Databricks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, we are really excited to be here and uh, also excited to get started on this new chapter in data formats. Awesome. So um, what's the main benefit of joining Databricks? Why join forces? I, <laughs> you know, I've, I've never wanted people to worry about formats. Uh, formats have always been a way for us to take on more responsibility as a platform and take responsibilities from people who you know, worry about things. It, when we started this, people were worrying about whether or not things completed atomically. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so this next chapter is really about how do we remove the, the choice and the need to stress over, you know, am I making this uh, the right choice for the next 10 years? Um, that weighs a lot on people. And I think we just we, we want to make sure that everything is compatible, um, that we're all you know, running in the same direction with, with a single standard, if possible. Um, hopefully, we can get there. Yeah, well, I think we're going to get there. Uh, actually, you, you had a talk, right, a while ago that said something like, I want you to not know about you know, these formats and Iceberg. Well, there was, was some title, right? So, exactly. I, I don't want anyone thinking about uh, you know, table formats or file formats or anything like that. That's a, a massive distraction from what people actually want to get done in their jobs. Uh, so I want people focusing on getting value out of their data and not the, the minutia. That's the, the kind of nerdy problem that you know, I get excited about. Leave, leave that to us. Hey, I like it. As a nerd, I think it's awesome. We've got thousands of people to learn how to do asset transactions and understand all the underpinnings of the stuff that I otherwise would not give a damn about. OK, well, everybody wants to hear like origin stories. So can you tell us a little bit, how, how did Iceberg get started? What's the sort of history? Well, it, at Netflix, we were um, really grappling with a number of different problem areas. Uh, atomicity was one that we didn't trust transactions and what was happening to our data. Um, we also had issues like you know, more correctness problems. You couldn't rename a column properly and <laughs> those sorts of things. And we realized that the nexus of all of the user problems was the, the format level. We just had too simplistic of a format with the, the Hive format, and we decided to you know, do something about it. Um, and, and then I think the, the real uh, you know, turning point was actually when we, we open sourced it and started working with the community, because it turns out everyone had that problem, and we could just move so much faster with the, the community. It's been an amazing experience. And you, you started, you were involved in the starting of the Parquet project before that, right? Was, it, was, was some of these thoughts even discussed to do this kind of atomicity and so on back there, or no? This is... So part of uh, the, my experience in the Parquet project informed what we did here, because there were several things that just were not file level issues. They were this next level of, you know, really table level concerns. Like, what's the, the uh, current schema of a table? You can't tell that from just looking at all the files. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people think that this is, uh, you know, the first time we're talking about these things, you know, you and I and others. Uh, but this isn't the first time we're actually talking about, you know, interoperability and how to make this work, right? <laughs> That's true. Um, you know, we've been in touch over the years, uh, you know, talking about this several times. Um, I, I'm glad that we finally got to the point where it made sense. Um, you know, I think we were always going and, and doing our own things, but now we've gotten to the point where both formats are good enough that we're, we're actually duplicating effort. And it, the, the most uh, logical thing to do is this. It is to start working together, start uh, you know, avoiding any duplication, if, if possible, between the two. Yeah, that's super awesome. OK, so I think a lot of people here are wondering, what does this mean for the I I Apache Iceberg community? Well, <laughs> I'm really excited because I, I see this as a, a big commitment and a, a pretty massive investment in uh, the Iceberg community and the health of both Delta Lake and Iceberg in, in general. Um, I'm very excited, you know, personally to like work on this and, and do a whole bunch of uh, fun engineering problems. Um, and, and that'll be uh, really nice. Awesome, man. Super, super excited to partner with you, you know, collaborate on, you know, Delta, Uniform, Iceberg, all these formats, and then, you know, make it such that no one here ever needs to care about this ever again. Thanks yeah. so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.